What's up, everybody? This is uh, Sean for the Yokai Delinquents Podcast. Uh, Sean Bearded Kappa Litton. And uh, as you can see, we got a new format going here because uh, yeah. I've recently been able to uh, start working with my good buddy, Jerry Robo Tango Smith. And uh, say hi, Jerry, of course. Hello. <laughs> and if y'all don't know, if you haven't checked it out yet, we are uh, the Yokai Delinquents Podcast. Uh, we started that here. We're Actually, as of recording, fourth episode dropped today. And, uh, yeah, we decided, as we talked about it, and uh, wanted to bring him in on these pickup videos Some, y'all have been watching on, you know, the uh, the Bearded Kappa Productions webpage, and I thank y'all for that. But, uh, so, yeah, we're going to go and get started. I know it's been a little while, and I don't have nearly what I have picked up since the last time I did one of these. But, as y'all can still kind of see, I got boxes in the background because we were supposed to move. That didn't fucking happen. <laughs> so, my lazy, yeah, my lazy ass didn't want to unpack everything, so some of that's packed up, but I got some goodies for y'all. Let's go ahead and get started. As usual, I like to start with my uh, comic books that I picked up recently. We got from the uh, Batman White Knight series, Harley Quinn, number one. Uh, they, they're starting a new series with the, uh, the Harley Quinn from the White Knight alternate universe, which, quite frankly... Uh, Sean Murphy can write Harley Quinn for us. I love his interpretation of Harley. <laughs> and if, for those, it's kind of the, the costume's kind of like a mixture of old and new. Oh no! Well, this one is. Uh, I'll pan out a little more. No, it's straight up the old school. She's just not wearing the yeah. jester uh, hat. Oh. And there's a reason yeah. for that. And I'll go ahead and talk about it because White Knight came out two, year, three years ago. We were still on SFG yeah. when uh, right. that dropped. In that alternate universe, there were actually two Harleys. There's Harleen Quinzel, the original, who wore the original costume, who left when Joker got too extreme. And then there's the one that looked a lot, acted a lot like the modern Harley. And it's a totally separate woman. I can't think of her name on top of my head right now. But in the uh, the, the last uh, uh, White Knight series with Azrael, she became Neo Joker. Well, she quit using the Harley Quinn name. Because Joker, the whole little thing. It's a great series if y'all haven't picked it up. And especially what's good is... I'd like to take on Harley Quinn because, you know, although I've gotten more used to the newer Harley Quinn, I love the classic. And she retains a lot of that whole, you know, fell for the Joker's thing. She kind of woke up. But actually in this one, they start, they changed up the origin and I like it. I dig it. I'm not going to give that away. Mm-hmm. It's out on the shelves of your little comic book shop. Go pick it up. Then we have uh, Maestro number three. Uh, again, this is a series I started. I haven't made a video since it got kicked off, but this has been a, uh, this is a, Peter David, who used to write Hulk back in the day, uh, taking uh, his take on the future Hulk, who eventually became the supervillain Maestro. And it's been really good. I've been on a Hulk kick, mainly thanks to uh, Immortal Hulk here lately. So is, is that a story that's taking place in the future, or did they bring uh, Maestro to the present? No, it is a future a future story. Uh, you even got, like, gotcha. you know, gotcha. you even run into some, you know, his current characters that are an Immortal Hulk now in the future fucked up because yeah it's, oh. a, it's, a, it's a very oh. <laughs> it's a very dark and bleak world which has made the Hulk tired of humanity and you know he's fully merged into an intelligent Hulk with Banner's intelligence but he's also very jaded so he's become the villain from that <laughs> are you saying that because he's green yes he's jaded <laughs> very jaded yes and for y'all who haven't seen the, the, the hair yes I got a got, got my hair did I likes it I do <laughs> Uh, speaking of Immortal Hulk, we have a one-shot from, uh, damn, I'm forgetting the name, Jeff Lemire. Mor- oh. Immortal Hulk, uh, The Threshing Place. It was a little one-shot. Interesting little story. I'm not going to say I was crazy about it. I know Lemire is yeah. a great writer, popular with a lot of people. He's hit and miss with me, but yeah. I think this is a solid one-shot. A, a lot of his like um, stuff of pre-created characters is very hit or I feel like um, his his uh, solo stuff, like his creator own stuff, is I right. usually where it, it's the best for me. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, and that's usually with most writers. Like there's some great writers out there in comics. And like like mm-hmm. I'll still say Frank Miller, his original stuff, Sin City 300, way better than his takes on Batman. You know, and mm-hmm. well, really all he does is Batman. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> you know, like The Dark Knight Returns. I get it. I uh, we we went over this before in the past and. I get why I was popular back in the day. I still don't think he writes Batman that great. Right. So, you know, unpopular opinions, they exist. <laughs> I've made a few videos. 
Up next, we got Teen Titans number 46. This should be the second to last issue before this is getting canned. Like a lot of DC books are going to be canceled. Dang. Uh, this is again Robin, you know, Damien, the, the worst Robin ever. He's uh, tearing the team <laughs> apart. And uh, a lot of people aren't happy with him. And I don't blame him. I've always said he was a dick. <laughs> Not my favorite Robin. <laughs> Tim Drake, still the still the best Robin. <laughs> and the last uh, comic I got this week was no surprise to anybody. Savage Dragon number uh, two fifty three. Uh, the Adventures of Canada still continues. Uh, Eric Larson is not being shy about bringing in the modern uh, like co he discusses COVID, Trump, all his political agenda. He ain't shy about it. You know, <laughs> create your own content. I mean, he is. Huh? He, Comics shouldn't be political, though, Sean. I really hated when X Men became political all of a sudden. <laughs> right, right. But uh, no, nah, this is uh, I still I'm gonna say it. I still I, I discussed it. I believe in one of our um, yeah one of my unpopular uh, opinion videos. Uh, that manga, yeah, is great because the creator, the same creator, writer, artist, the entire time. Eric Larson is a modern, is a is a Western mangaka because he has not left this fucking book. For 253 <laughs> issues. Fuck you, McFarlane. <laughs> I'm going to say it. You celebrate your 300th issue that, that you haven't worked on in fucking forever. But anyway, right. that's enough uh, comic <laughs> talk and me bitching. Because Eric Larson doesn't get the love I think he deserves. But uh, I also like collecting uh, action figures and uh, little other collectibles outside of comics. Specifically, yeah, Funko. some toys. Uh, we got some toys. We got some. I'm going to show you some toys. Jerry. <laughs> Move London. Got my dog down here by my feet. But we got. Oh. Suyu Asuyu. From My Hero Academia. Oh. Froppy. Yeah. I'm a, pretty much the same picture almost every side. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't taken out the box Just yet. But I, if you can believe this, other than uh, I have her Funko Pop and I have like a little miniature little thing, it's my first uh, Froppy figure. Is, oh. did, is this the first uh, Van Presto that they did? I think so. Not uh, no grant. No, well, maybe not. This is the first affordable one. Cause I've had one on Amazon. Yeah, gotcha. That's like three hundred fucking dollar statue. It's fucking gorgeous, but I can't yeah. I can't justify that. Even though she is right. still best girl in uh, my hero. Uh, let's see. We also got. Oh, we'll keep the my hero train rolling. I'm good. Spoilers for that though. Uh, we have All for One. This is the. Uh, I know we got like horrendous glare. Uh, this is from. The, this, actually, this is a special edition. I forget what exclusive it is, but if you can mm -hmm. kind of see his arm, he is in yeah. overdrive. Like, you know, this is him just powered up before he fucked up uh, All Might in their last fight. Yeah. So I had to get that exclusive there. Another exclusive from Hot Topic, which I sadly had to go through a third party because this motherfucker sold out quick. But it is the Mr. Compress Funko Pop. Oh, I didn't even know they made a Funko Pop. Of yep, he is a uh, 2020 Fall Convention limited edition one. He was marked up, yes, but uh, you know, if you're like me, you gotta, I gotta get my My Hero Pop. So scooped him up. Nice. As well, had to had to eBay purchase him. Sadly, I tried to get on there, and I swear, like I I clicked it, was on checkout. By the time I went to finish it, it said sold out. These motherfuckers, and, they're, and then of course I probably bought it from the same person that screwed me up. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the same thing that happened whenever I got my uh, uh, Kraken pop because it was like. Oh, five, five, five minutes, it went on sale, and then I went through checkout, and then it was sold out, so we had to pay, like, some ridiculous amount for it. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to lie. He was selling for 15 on Hot Topic. I bought him for 30 I've done yeah. worse. I've done worse it's on markups, yeah. <laughs> but... Uh, no, this, this Kraken was definitely worse. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> well, here's the thing. This is why I do it. And, like, I mean, I hate flippers. We all hate them. I mean, you know, some people mm -hmm. do it. It's their living. I get it, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't mind markups at a convention, because that's... To be expected, and if you want something, yeah. you know, you, don't get it wrong. I saw people trying to sell him for like eighty bucks, and fuck them, that's a hell of a market. Right. Thirty, <laughs> I kind of get it because you know, sucker like me will buy that without breaking my bank. <laughs> but uh, I learned because uh, I still don't have the glow in the dark all night because I passed yeah. on him for fifty, and he's still a multi hundred yeah. dollar figure. So I've, that's why now I just grab him up as long as it's still reasonable. 
And I don't think yeah. I've spent more than fifty on a one. I, I, I spent fifty on um, I think it was the helmet uh, Ochako. Ochako, right? Yeah, her helmeted version. One of the, I spent fifty dollars on one of the exclu- one of the like yeah. uh, Comic Con exclusive ones. Yeah, but, I think it was that one because I was kind of debating it and I was on the fence and then like a week later whenever I was finally like, yeah, I think I'll go ahead and get it. It went up again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's just, get rid of, oh, can't get rid of that, okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. all right, but yeah, that's so, yeah, I mean, I want to, I still want to collect all of them. There's times where I'm like, man, I should really just get rid of these and keep the characters I truly love. But again, like we talked about with My Hero, I, the reason these Funko Pops are cool for me is because every character is legit in that show. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I don't. I there, there's something to like about every one of them. Am I tired of Funko releasing three Deku's every fucking line? Yeah. <laughs> but if I'm gonna get yeah. the entire set, I'm gonna get the entire set. Right. Uh, next up, from GameStop, uh, the T-shirt Funko oh. Pop set nice. for Ida. Uh, Ign- I can never pronounce his, his superhero name. Ignium, Ignium, whatever. Uh, Ingenium. Ingenium, thank you. See, I don't Ingenium. fucking know. Ingenium, yeah. <laughs> now, it's a helmet, because, you know, he, he's only popped in the very first line, which that figure skyrocketed. The last I saw was like $200 figure. I don't know why. Yeah. It's the regular one from the normal first wave. But this is yeah. the helmeted, his hero costume, and I had to get that. Mm-hmm. And because the shirts don't go to my size, so I get the smallest size, so it's cheaper. Mm. Save a few bucks that <laughs> way. Smart. Yeah, I mean, you buy them small, they're like 25. You buy any, like, larger, bigger, it's 30. So, that is what that is. And the last Funko Pop I have is another Hot Topic exclusive Funko 2020 from the uh, Junji Ito collection. <laughs> so, Ichi yes. got his nails, his candles, and which this is honestly, if I'm not mistaken, uh, I think he's Ito kind of modeled him after himself. It yeah. even says on here Junji Ito Soichi. Mm. Could be wrong. <laughs> I might, but uh, seeing the name made me think that that might be the case. And you can see the from the anime, yeah. which the illustration, which honestly the Junji Ito collection on Crunchyroll wasn't that good. Wasn't that good of an yeah. adaptation. Yeah. I hate to, and but that's the the thing about some manga. I just don't think it translates always into anime. I mean, even the 90s Berserker one, which is better, far better than the CG bullshit we got going now with Berserk. Yeah, but at least we finally got the free church arc. We did. We did. We got out of the Golden, the, the, was it the Golden Dawn arc? Or the Golden, golden Age or something? Golden Age, yeah, Golden yeah. Age. Yeah. yeah, at least we got out of that, but still, I, I couldn't do it. I'm, I'm enjoying yeah. those. I'm, I'm good with the manga. I'm glad they're getting released in those mm. nice hardbound copies I've shown on previous uh, pickup videos. Right. Still got a few more things. A few more things. Speaking of Junji Ito, his uh, newest collection, Vis- uh, wasn't it? Uh, Venus in the Blind Spot. I'd show you some stuff, but I probably can't. <laughs> but another beautiful collection from him. Let me see. I think I can show some of the. Uh, yeah, there we go. We'll show this uh, opening nice. random color illustration of his amazing, amazing art. Yeah, it's beautiful. The newest collection. He's got another one, I think, coming out this year, and a, a new book, which may just be another collection of short stories. And he's got a new book coming up in the summer next year. So, so that was I collect. Yeah, he I is get... constantly, he is constantly popping out with stuff. Oh, absolutely. He, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, he, he's, you know, and a, a, this one has like two or three short stories that were in previous collections. Mm-hmm. So it is what it is. But I, again, I collect everything Junji Ito has translated. His. Uh, Kitty Cat book is still one of my favorites. Just yeah, he managed to. Uh, was it? Yeah. Uh, like Mao and some I can't think of the top of my head, but yeah, yeah. It just a story of him and his cats, and he still made that creepy and awesome as hell. When <laughs> we got volume three of the Transformers manga, uh, I'm gonna be perfectly honest with y'all, and I think some uh, collectors can understand this. I hate this. Oh yeah. I don't like these books. <laughs> But it's G1 Japanese Transformers manga. <laughs> I'm buying them anyway. Like, like I don't know. Some of them are fun. I like the, they have like the old advertisements and some of the old like uh, you can see like some of the promo art and stuff they had. That's cool. But like the books, the stories themselves, 
I mean, sometimes you can tell the manga artist, who, you know, granted are way more talented than I'll ever be in my life, you can tell they literally were just holding the toy and drawing the poses straight because they're stiff, and you can just tell it. Um, and these are all from, like, the 80s era. So, yeah. that's why I get them. I, I, I'm honestly <laughs> as big of a fan of G1 Transformers as I am. I'm not super crazy about about those. Got a few more things. Did you have anything you want to throw in, Jerry? No. Uh, no? I didn't. I didn't have anything today. Just wanted to make sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Other than other than Ruby back there chilling. Yeah, my <laughs> this is my cat. She's cleaning herself. Well, uh, <laughs> all right, I'll keep rolling then, as we have yeah. done. Then we have where's the fucking volume? There it is, <laughs> volume twenty-five, My Hero Academia manga. Ooh, Look at that cover. freaking cover, man. Mm-hmm. Which uh, we're not going to ever discuss spoilers. But you know what I'm think. You know what we're thinking about the newest chap. Those out there reading the newest chapters. Yeah. Yeah. This is still in the. Uh, not sure where we are in in this volume. Yeah, it looks like the Christmas arc and get a little bit with. Um, Lord, I'm looking at him, but now I can't remember his name. The uh, the feathered the wing the feathered hero. Like the number, number uh, two. Hawks. Yeah. Yeah. Hawks. Yeah, Hawks. Yeah. I know, right? The bird guy. He's like, he's like a hawk. What's his name? <laughs> he's, he kind of looks like a hawk. No. Place it. <laughs> Whatever it happens. <laughs> uh, then I also picked up volume 17 of Demon Slayer. Yes. Which is just, uh, y'all, I mean, the, the movie, which is the train arc, is doing gangbusters in Japan, breaking theater records. Mm-hmm. And it's a damn good arc, and but just the way it keeps going. I mean, this mangaka, she is super fucking talented. And this is uh, maybe the second to last, or we're nearing the end of the manga here in the States. Right, so yeah. They, they, they finally released all the chapters uh, on the Shonen Jump app, all the big gap that they yeah. had. Right, yeah, which is how I, I finished reading it, but I'm still buying the, the physical, though, because yeah. I want to own the series. Yeah. Uh, last up is a couple of books I got that are Japanese, and... Mm-hmm. Uh, well, we are the yokai delinquents, and yeah. sadly, these don't get translated in English for some reason. Oh. But our local comic book store had yeah. two volumes of Tokyo Tribes, which if you yeah. haven't seen, this is the most batshit insane musical you'll ever see in your life. <laughs> but they got, this is like volume six, and also, I don't know because the slip cover's gone, and instead they just used a bunch of hip-hop album covers. Oh, that's <laughs> but, awesome. But it is another volume of uh, Tokyo Tribes. Sadly, like I said, both in Japanese and as much horrible, you know, Japanese we are, pronunciation, stuff, the few words we knew to get us through Japan. Can't read it, mm-hmm. but I was like, you know what? They've been sitting up there for a while. They gave me a good deal because, I mean, who in Arkansas is going to buy Japanese-only manga but me? I think they literally said that. Right. No one's going to buy this but you. And I'm like, you know what? I don't own any delinquent gang, you know, manga. So mm-hmm. I picked those up. Good deal. He gave me five dollars a piece. I wasn't mad at that. Yeah. And the last thing. It's a steal. Yeah. Oh yeah. Last thing. This was not purchased, but given to us. Our uh, good friend Sonia Muhammad uh, recently was cleaning out some stuff, and she donated quite a few things. You can actually see it'll be a future video. Bunch of One Piece figures back there. I'm still sorting through <laughs> what I want to keep and uh, what some of my friends might end up with. You know, we got some buddies that are into One Piece still. <laughs> what? But she also gave me a, a short box of uh, comics, and one of the things that were in there was uh, this is the first of three. I'm not going to break them all out because I'm still part two's at work. And that's why I read it on my lunch break. But it's the Hack Slash Omnibus. Nice. This has been a very fun uh, just horror anthology because really it's like this. It's a bunch of short stories. They're connected, but they're not. You know what I mean? Like it'll be a different artist on different stories. And there'll be some callbacks, but it feels very episodic. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But uh, there's some gorgeous art, some great, uh, like I said, fun monsters, including uh, even appearances from that's uh, Scotty Young, the uh, comic book artist. Yeah. And there, that's a whole funny. bunch of image creators are in that story because it's about a slasher at a comic con. A lot of fun. Uh, of course. <laughs> and there may be a future cosplay in that series as well. But, yeah, that's going to do it. 
Uh, that's uh, been some of my most recent. That's a few weeks worth, maybe a couple weeks worth of uh, Amazon and local comic book shop pickups. Uh, but yeah, thank y'all once again for uh, tuning in. Thank you, Jerry, for being in and reacting, yeah. and conversating. Of course. Uh, maybe yeah. uh, next week you'll have some goodies to show off. I know uh, you haven't been out much. Pet bills. Yeah. I think we all know about some pet bills, so I understand that you Oof. can't really be picking up stuff very much right now. Mm-hmm. But you know, maybe uh, maybe this will convince you to dig out some old collectibles and show off to our That's true. our lovely viewers out there. Like much much, much like you, I have a lot of stuff boxes. As soon as right. I can start getting that stuff out, like yeah, I'll be showing it off. Right for sure. But that's gonna do it for now. Uh, thanks again for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe, share the videos, and uh, yeah, check out our podcast, The Yokai Delinquents, on the same channel. Uh, that's going to do it for yes. now. Catch y'all later. Peace.